To what extent can we criticise the late Malcolm Fraser in relation to what is called the Lebanese exception? In my view, <clears throat> he completely mismanaged that. It was his due, he gave the exception, it was for a specific purpose, that is the Christians in the Lebanon uh, who might need to come to Australia but who didn't qualify as refugees and it seemed to be it seemed to be not the Christians who came under that cover and there did not seem to be a proper control of that Lebanese exception. Uh, look, this goes to the heart of Australia's immigration policy and uh, whether we bring into people who are um, prepared to integrate, if not assimilate, uh, into Australian society. And that means having values that don't have to be identical, but are at least compatible. Uh, I'm old enough, David, as, as you are, to have lived through a number of waves of immigration to Australia. I was born in Melbourne and grew up when there was uh, a Greek and Italian uh, migration. And look, initially there were some, pro some problems, but very quickly the Greeks and Italians uh, seem to integrate very well and make a big contribution to life in Melbourne. My family moved into state when I finished school and I was arrived in time for some Asian immigration, uh, Vietnam and China. And again, there was um, initial problems, but I think by and large people will agree that the Vietnamese and the Chinese communities uh, in Sydney have uh, have integrated and seem to be hard-working, productive people making a contribution to Australia. Um, the, it is more difficult to put that description on uh, some of those that arrived uh, from Lebanon. Uh, there are... Um, it, we, we do recall what was uh, called the uh, Middle East... Uh, organised crime unit, uh, MIOC. Uh, so the police found it significant enough that they would have their own specialised unit to deal with it. 